question. Joining us now is Jesse Weber, anchor and attorney on the Law and Crime Network, which I founded. He's a News Nation legal contributor as well. So the key question is who hit who, right? They're both saying that the other one hit them? The central question is who was uphill. And it's so interesting because it's different than traditional, like a car case, right? A car wreck, where if two people, maybe one's going fast, maybe one goes through a red light, both are at fault. If the jury determines that Paltrow was uphill or Sanderson was uphill, I think that's the end of the conversation because they're both saying that they were hit from behind and didn't see what was happening. Right. But you have this witness who just said that that he was down the hill and she hit him. She's going to have a witness who's going to say the opposite, right? So so the problem with him is, and he's a little bit of a problematic witness, in his prior deposition, he goes, I get a little nervous, and when I'm nervous, I get a little dyslexic, so I originally told the account (laughs) the opposite. (laughs) And so when the jury hears that, this is going to be very difficult. I think the most important evidence is the medical evidence. Because the medical evidence is going to do three things. One, they have to say how serious were his injuries. Were they caused by the accident? And the most important part is the only way that he could have suffered this from being hit by Gwyneth Paltrow. Not him falling on her, but being hit. And that's what her, his team really went with today, that you're going to hear from witnesses, experts, medical experts, that the way he was hit it caused these specific injuries. I think that's going to be central for the jury. But doesn't she also have a critical eyewitness who was with her? who's going to be testifying, a ski instructor? So what we learned today is that Mr. Ramon is apparently the only direct eyewitness. There are witnesses who were there and saw what happened right after, but he claims he actually saw the contact. Now, Paltrow's team presented an email um, thread from Sanderson to his daughter, um, allegedly describing the crash, and the subject was, I'm famous. Uh, His daughter writes, I can't believe it's all on GoPro, right? Yeah. Again, not particularly helpful to his case. No, and that GoPro video, we don't know what happened to it. So that's a problem as well. But the reason that's so significant is even if I didn't even tell you anything about the case, the idea of somebody suing Gwyneth Paltrow, what's the first thing people think of? Oh, it's a money grab, right? right? So the more that they can introduce the idea that he thought you know, he could get something out of it, and they said his memory got suddenly better of what happened after the crash. How often does that happen, that your memory over the years of what happened in an event gets better? The idea is he was going after it for the money. One of the, he, one of the quotes that he gave at one point was he said, I heard this hysterical cream, scream like you never hear on a ski run, like King Kong came out of the jungle or something. Yeah, and, and the problem with that, of course, is it's twofold. That's a pretty vivid recollection, but at the same time, they're saying he was disor- disoriented when he was hit, And that explains why he also allegedly said to apologize to her after. So the allegation was after they collided, he immediately said, oh, I'm sorry. His team is going to say, well, you know, he was disoriented. He didn't know what he was saying. So how can he have such a vivid recollection, but at the same time be disoriented and not remember details? Let me play one more piece of sound. This is number one of uh, the lawyer for the plaintiff here, Sanderson, uh, in court today. Defendant Gwyneth Paltrow knew that looking up the mountain and to the side while skiing down the mountain was dangerous. And she knew that skiing that way, looking somewhere else, blindly skiing down a mountain by looking up and to the side was reckless. And she knew if she continued to ski that way, that it was not a matter of if, but when, by looking up and to the side um, it was not a matter uh, she would crash into somebody below her I don't even really quite understand what he's saying. If the jury accepts that, right. they'll say Paltrow was negligent. She's right. looking all over the place. She right. should have been looking in front of her. She has the but responsibility. She knew, she knew they're going to have, they don't have to show that she knew it. They could just show that her actions were negligent. So I was wondering, how can he prove that? Right. And right. I'm gonna, I would imagine there is witness testimony from her children who said, I, was, I saw my mom. She was looking around for us. I don't know what happened after. Right. And they're taking bits and pieces. I wonder how it's going to play in that she's sort of a controversial character. You think the jury's going to care about that? About Gwyneth Paltrow? If they know who she is. And the diets and Yeah, all I mean, that. you know. I mean, it, it, This is Utah, by the way. This is not L.A., not right, New York. I understand, but you know. the people, you know, I, I think, so as a result, people will be less understanding of some of the wacky ways of L.A. You know what's really interesting? Real quick, people, I had a conversation with somebody. They said, she's a celebrity. Suing for one dollar is going to backfire. It makes her look out of touch. It makes her look like she's above everybody else. I said, no. She's suing for one dollar because... 
She's saying, I could have well, settled this, but I didn't. And, I'm here to clear my name. But she's also suing for her attorney's fees. And that I is promise true. you, those will be much more <laughs> than a dollar. That's Jesse Weber, point. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.